Our body uses food for energy and to keep us healthy and strong. But food isn't just a necessity. It's also a social experience that can bring people together from family cookouts to birthday celebrations. And there may be times when you indulge in too much food, which is normal. But if you're regularly consuming large amounts of food in a short period of time, you may have binge eating disorder, a behavioral disorder defined by chronic compulsive overeating. While there's no quick fix to treating binge eating disorder, you can make certain lifestyle changes that can help you manage and understand your eating habits. Here are five tips on how to manage binge eating disorder. Number one, practice mindful eating. Before you grab a bite to eat, ask yourself this question. What is my intention for eating? The idea of mindful eating focuses on the why and how of eating, leading to more deliberate and intentional food choices. Sit at the table, remove distractions, and give food your full attention. Slow down and take deep breaths while eating and think about how it makes you feel. Number two, learn to recognize hunger. Knowing the difference between mental cravings and physical hunger is vital to a healthier relationship with food. We may eat because we're feeling bored, stressed, or anxious, all signs of emotional eating. But true physical hunger includes feelings of emptiness, pains, and grumbling in the stomach. When hunger levels are very high, it may cause lightheadedness and hunger headaches. So pay attention to how your body feels and what it needs and eat when you feel hungry. Putting off eating can lead to overeating. Number three, stop before you're full. Do you tend to eat too fast? If so, slow down to at least 20 minutes per meal to give your stomach time to receive and digest the food you've just eaten. A good rule of thumb is to stop eating when you feel 80% full. Number four, keep a journal. Want to be more conscious of your thoughts, feelings, and behaviors towards food? Keeping track of what you eat and what you're thinking or feeling can help you recognize patterns and triggers. Number five, tackle your triggers. Emotional triggers can include feelings of boredom or stress, while environmental triggers can include settings based around food, like that tempting box of donuts at work or a potluck dinner with friends. Once you've identified any triggers, work to remove or reduce their impact on your life. For example, plan your meals in advance and keep foods that trigger binge eating out of your home. If you think you may have binge eating disorder, know that you're not alone. Binge eating disorder is the most common of all eating disorders, and it can negatively affect your life interfering with your mental, emotional, and physical health and well-being. But binge eating disorder is treatable, and you can change how you view food and your relationship with it. Talk to a healthcare provider who can help you navigate the road to recovery.